All right, chat. I am back. Let's go ahead and do this here. So we're at the blue room, 904. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so two. Wait, what happens if we go to the alleyway? <laughs> Just saying. Again. something mac i thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up get on with it what's your hurry mac you got some place to go you ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand now that's more like it here we go Jeez. Oh, is that supposed to happen, I guess? You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. I guess so. Oh boy. What did you do, Phelps? Causing more trouble, man. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. 
The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. We'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Perfect timing. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Watch ah. it. Back streets and alleyways. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find us. Oh. oh, boy. Oh god. Almost there. Quick. Quick. He's going to fall. <laughs> so you're still carrying that army 45, Cole. Jeez. For God's sake, Cole. Call an ambulance. Jeez. House of Sticks. Case closed. Well, there is all his all of uh, his stuff there. Hold on once. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and uh, continue with this here.
Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. Three cases left. You know left. the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Wells. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Feltz has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. <laughs> Hogue Boom, Weapons Company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogue Boom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. A polite invitation. Hmm. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. <laughs> you haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers... Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join in. It's making yeah. my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. The one time we can meet again in many that Kiara actually gets to show up. <laughs> I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about- There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First, they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? 
<laughs> nice. Hey, Curtis Benson and Vigil. Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. All right. Curtis Benson's apartment, 9.40 a.m. Number two. Hmm. Surprising that that guy that owns a company wouldn't have like a giant house apartments too there you go remember me jack it's good to see you you've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment can we do this some other time back off curtis move away from the door jack there's no call for that you're smooth curtis i'll give you that you try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. Nope. I, guess we've I don't think so. The passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. It's like, oh boy. Nothing there. Exactly, do you expect to find Jack? Something like get all this. the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Insurance agreement. You were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. There it is. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Motive for fraud. It, You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. 
What is Fuck. it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? The insurance agreement. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack taking their bait you buy green lumber and use it to build houses how do you expect it to end mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses what would I know about his choice of building materials you smug son of a bitch you're lying again it's an insurance scam pure and simple and how do you prove that Jack my assessors wrote the policies on the houses I only approve the reports, Jack. I'm the rubber stamp. This doesn't come back to me. Very neat. One out purpose. of three. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. It's so hard to tie the, the evidence sometimes. I hate how it's not like multiple options and there or there's not something like you can be like, oh, well, because I found this evidence, blah, blah, blah. Nine fifty a.m. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Interesting that he <laughs> that he said that. First door on the right when you come out. Yeah, Kelso. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. There's got to be more in these files. There's something else in that report. I know it. Not really. replacement value for the house is 
current value of the house and land is 3500 hmm. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? They're in it somehow. Flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Hall of Records is the place to start. All records, 10.03 a.m. Is it just uh, Just me? Yeah. Okay. Hello there. The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Land Registry Office. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Hmm. Oh, Southern film cast casting. Or maybe the next page. Suburban redevelopment fund. Right here. It's right here. Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? 
I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Oh, you can't just look it up on the computer? Oh, wait. I believe that is in the <laughs> area. Here. 34 degrees. Whoa. 4 minutes. 29, 29 seconds. seconds north. 118 degrees 17, 17. Minutes, 58 seconds west the lot numbers 1876988 unfortunately that is just the beginning we have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. 1876988. Divided by 90,000. Yes. Seven. Six, nine, eight, eight, divided by ninety thousand. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided oh, by shoot. ninety thousand. Wait, is that no? Oh, God. One. Eight. Seven. One, eight, six, seven, six, nine, eight, eight. Nine. Divided by eight. Ninety thousand. Yes. Eight. Nine zero 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 Z equals one million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Oh, wait, this thing twenty. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Hey Siri, what's the 21st letter of the alphabet? You. Let's see what the side is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place. The improved value of the property is 3500 They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Oh, God. Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Is that the dude? Throw out the guns. There 
it is. I think the, the guy that brought out the shotgun was the person that uh, was helping me. Damn, poor guy. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Fall guy? <laughs> Kelso's apartment, 6 p.m. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Oh boy. Seven PM. the help all of you we can reminisce later i want a minimum of noise and no prisoners no prisoners this isn't pele lu jack these guys are grifting gis that's what they do for a living it's okay jack we all feel the same way just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined let's get it done teams of two at the ready <laughs> oh snap Keep 
your head down! That's my teammate. Get up. That's it. Out of ammo. I actually almost feel better off out of cover. All right, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Martin. You're surrounded and your buttons are dead. How is he still standing? There he is. Blast. Damn. <laughs> Don't do this. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> Monroe, where are you, damn it? You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Damn, son. Dead men are heavier. Did I go the right way? Maybe I did. Oh, here it is. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Who, <laughs> oh, you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second <laughs> offer. You sadistic. Bastard! <clears throat> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. <laughs> oh, look at that. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack! 
Suburban redevelopment fund promises 10,000 new homes. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please sit down. Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. All of a sudden, and now it's really quiet during this cutscene. Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. Boy. Oh, it's a good thing you opened this up already. Smart. Keep Roy the dirt on Earl. Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. That's a hell of a payroll. Damn. Something else right here. And we can check this again. Okay, nothing else of that. Uh, that's all clear. Maybe the picture. Anything on the back? got to be something else, right? What happens if I walk out here? Okay. We're still in the search area.
even right now we're still in the search area. There's only one room. Records. Come on, there's got to be something else. in this house. Nothing in the secretary's area. Nothing I see right here. Nothing in the center. Nothing right there. Down here. gotta be something else. Is this it? Oh my god. Some sold off. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Oh Stop my god. So, there's too <laughs> much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <clears throat> Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Oh, you 
son of a whore! <laughs> Give me a goddamn doctor! <laughs> Light invitation. Two more to go. This is actually a DLC mission. Oddly Jack. enough. There's a statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon, and we have to be on the other side. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Investigate explosion site. Oh, Jesus. I never see nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. What the hell? Was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was <laughs> vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go up? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Turn upside down. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, That's it, Mr. Mayor. Seems irrelevant. A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as um, very resolute. Shoes like untouched. I don't think this is going to help us. Sweet heavens above. Oh. 
I can honestly say I've never seen anything like this. Hey, detective! Let's get started. I think I got something here. I got four of it. Sure. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Try putting it back together. Wait, I think I just had it. Oh, no. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. E and W Wasp Major. The nose news. One second, chat. I'm going to take the doggo out. Be right back.